Well, hello to everybody out there. Four Corners Networking Group. Just wanted to share with you um, another webinar. This one I'm going to be focusing on listing presentations. More importantly, the marketing strategy that I review with my clients um, during my listing presentation. So as I am uh, going through the um, CMA with the property valuation, recent comps, recent sales in the community, um, I, I have a section of my listing presentation that I talk specifically about all the marketing that comes with you know, my services as your listing agent. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I will use uh, like a laptop or an iPad. Um, I, the iPad um, also, I, I have this uh, projector, hold on, let me find it for us, projector adapters that um, I can literally go into their property and put this up on the wall and it will literally show you know my presentation just like this um, on the wall of their property so they can see it larger than life as opposed to being huddled over a small little iPad so this one in particular I forget what I think actually I do have the Brookstone one um, 150 bucks I mean it's fairly reasonable if you're into technology if you have an iPad I'm pretty sure it's just USB um, adaptable but look at that thing it's portable it's small um, here's a quick little I haven't seen this video, but hi, I'm Nathan from Brookstone, and today I want to show you Brookstone's pocket projector micro. Yeah, this projector has no video. tricky menus or settings; just plug and play. Great for movies and gaming. Project video up to 50 inches diagonally with the 15 lumen LED lamp, which can last more than 20,000 hours and has a resolution of 640 by 360. Connect the projector using an HDMI compatible cable to most smartphones, tablets, computers, gaming systems, go. and more. Look at that. The rechargeable built-in battery provides approximately two hours of use on a single three to four hour charge. The projector has a built-in speaker, focus wheel, and 3.5 millimeter audio out jack. The projector is ultra portable weighing in at under a pound and is just four inches wide by three inches long and a half inch thick. Sweet. The projector comes with a micro USB cable, an HDMI compatible cable, an MHL compatible cable, and a 5 to 11 pin adapter. Apple adapters for the lightning and 30 pin connections are sold separately. For more information about this and our other great projectors, check us out at brookstone.com. And there you have it, brookstone.com. Um, yeah, they have them at the mall, they're Brookstone companies, but you can pull them up online. So it's really impressive when I show up to my listing and presentation, if I have a tablet or, or a, um, a laptop, and I go through my listing presentation and I throw it up on their wall so they can see this awesome you know, larger than life presentation of my marketing plan. So once I have the projector thing all set up, I jump into uh, my listing presentation using this this app or the online app called Prezi, P-R-E-Z-I dot com. And as you can see, and I think I've shown this to some of us in the group, um, it's kind of like a PowerPoint presentation. So I have, you know, my, you know, and obviously you can customize this. I'm gonna show you how to customize your Prezi in a moment. I'm just gonna quickly go through my, my presentation and how it works. So as you're scrolling through, if you have a, a wireless mouse, you can literally just click to the right or left and it will go through each slide. So basically I go over all the marketing that is included on my listings. So here's a slide of the marketing pre-marketing pre presentation. Um, so I'll, I'll go over all those different items individually as far as open the, the, the yard sign in the front, um, the, the reason why it's important to go through staging, I show examples of the different before and afters of the staging process. I'll go into the professional photography and why these high definition uh, photos are so important for a listing. So as you can see as you're scrolling through, you know, it just pops. It's great to have professional photography on, on my um, um, marketing materials, my flyers, online, on, you know, so MLS, I have them all uploaded. So obviously we all know the importance of having professional photography, but it's great to show the, the seller the importance of that. I talk about my just listed flyers, what I do with these flyers, mail them to the neighborhood, uh, real estate agent database, so on and so forth. Um, I go over our HD video, which this will allow me to, to, to play the video um, and the client can watch you know, an example of what I do. And that was, this is the same video that I did the YouTube 
um, webinar for earlier this month, or last two weeks ago, whatever. So I can literally give them an example of my video uh, and let them watch it. So as they're going through the video, they can see the quality of it, and I can kind of talk about, well, hey, once I have this video done and shot, I market it the same I do with the photos, I put it online, I do Facebook ads, I do this, but I, I can track it through YouTube and see how many hits we're getting and the feedback that we're getting and let people know what the house looks like without having to visit it up front. And then once they visit, or once they, they like what they see on the video, they'll come to the open house, they'll call me to schedule a showing, and it's just another way for you to, to get that property in front of buyers, potential buyers, or your seller. So as you can see, you know, it's just another example of, of me utilizing the video within my listing presentation. Um, and it's just a great tool that most agents aren't really, they're trying to do this stuff but not at the same level as the, that I feel that I'm doing it at. Most of the agents, they have that, that walkthrough video, but it's just a slideshow of, of other photos. We all use it. I use that too. But I definitely think that this help separates me from the average agent when I'm competing against multiple agents for a listing. Um, so that's an example of that. Then I also go into, you know, we do newspaper ads. Um, you know, some of us might not utilize newspaper print. It might not even be um, uh, relative in your market but it's just a slide that I include because it's something that we do market-wise. Um, I had talked with some of us about the Zillow coming soon feature. I guess you do need to be a premier agent within Zillow to have this. I think we pay maybe a hundred or two hundred, a hundred bucks a month maybe to, to be a, a premier agent in Zillow, which it's great for my listings. I get a ton of um, benefits, I guess. The coming soon feature is one of them. And it lets me, you know, get their property on the market sooner than than other um, agents will have access to do that. Also, do my Google Ad campaign. Talk about a little bit of the importance of Google Ads and why I use them. Facebook Ad campaign, so on and so forth. Um, and then my budget. So essentially, I'm I'm walking them through the entire process of what I do for marketing. Every time I've done my presentation, I've, I think I've only lost maybe three listings of the last, I don't know, 15 I've been on, only because they went with a local agent, and I'm pretty sure that agent probably offered him 4%. I always ask for 6% on my listings, and this is why I ask for 6%, because a lot of what I'm doing, I'm spending the money back on the property. Um, so, you know, hopefully I give them the wow factor with my presentation, and they... Um, don't really hesitate when I say, hey, give me 15 grand to sell your house. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm gonna be going over. So when you log into Prezi, so here's here's the home page of my Prezi, you can set up an account. It's free, I believe, and that's my favorite word with everything I do is free. YouTube is free, Prezi is free. You're only limited to I think like nine, so if you can see, I, I think I only am able to have nine presentations at a time or six or something like that, but um, that's all you need. You know, I have one for pre-marketing plan. Um, I teach social media, and this is one of my social media um, presentations that I have. So you know, I can redo them easily. I think this first grade journey. I did this for my wife for her uh, welcome home or her um, open house on uh, the first day of school, the first week of school. So I did that for her. Um, but anyways, once you have your account set up, you literally. You can copy my entire presentation, it'll upload, and then we can go in and we can edit it. So obviously you don't want the Elan Pinal logo on there. So I can go in here and say KW Logos, grab an image, say I want this one right here. So I can just save that image to my desktop, go back into my marketing thing and say I want to replace my image and upload that image quickly, pretty quickly, and it should overlap that image. There you go. Um, so it's kind of looks distorted. Let me see if I can crop the image as I want it to be. There we go. That's more like it. So I can crop that. Perfect. 
shrink that back down. So essentially, here we go. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll go through and we can customize your entire presentation. So now that we have that going, the way that Prezi works is, as you can see on this left column, each slide represents a different um, topic that I'm going to discuss. So as we're going through the Prezi, you can put these in order, uh, you know, obviously chronological order of what you want to discuss, and you will be allowed to do that by um, editing the path. So as you're going down, you want to see, see edit path, and it's going to zoom out and it's going to show you all the different, so that's number one, number two, and then it goes through the project, three, four, five, so on and so forth, um, so that you're in order of doing this. So as I'm going and starting from scratch, here's my second image. Obviously you can't see that, so we want to change the background because there is words and logos on this. So let's see, let's get rid of out of edit path. Um, I should be able to select that slide. And I want it to be full color. There we go. So now I can see the, the words that I had on there originally because the background was white, obviously. So um, what we can do is we can edit the slides that I've already added or we can just start from scratch. So basically we go back and we have our first beginning slide. I jump into my pre-marketing plan. Maybe I want to add a slide. I should be able to add a slide into this. It's going to drop it all the way to the bottom, but all I have to do is just scroll it all the way to the top and drop it in between the two. So now that I have that, it should be on my second one two, three, that should be my second in, in the path. So as far as what it says by the path, it's going to go from slide to slide to slide. So you want to make sure that you keep it in the order that you want to present in. So let's go to this blank slide. So basically, once we're in a blank slide, we can do all kinds of things. I can add images, symbols and shapes, videos. I can add charts, layouts, I can do arrows, highlight, I can add music over it. I've never really done that, but hey, you know, if you want to add some music in your, your presentation, great. So I try to keep it fairly simple. Maybe I just want to have, um, you know, some uh, text within it so I can start typing in um, marketing strategy. Strategy. And then I want to add some bullet points. Oops, let's see. So scroll down and add some bullet points to my, my presentation. So whoop, that's not even spelled right. Marketing. I can't type today. Excuse me. All right, so marketing strategy. Um, I don't know. Maybe um, email blasts to agents. I'm just making up stuff just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like as you're creating new content within your slides. Email blast to agents. Um, maybe you have like in my community we have marketing. Um, every week we do like a, a marketing meeting where other agents in the area will come to like the city of Livermore or the city of Pleasanton, and we all meet. We talk about our coming soon listings, our buyer wants and needs. So maybe we have a, a marketing meeting um, that we go to. Um, so I'll say maybe it's in the city of Pleasanton. So I'll make sure I go to that marketing meeting, so on and so forth, so I can add all these different content and, and slides. Maybe this looks like a boring slide to me. So I can just go ahead and say, add an image. Um, let's see, let's go back here and say, meeting. And I can literally grab this slide, boom, 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 save this image. Because I like to just steal things randomly off the internet. Insert that image. Where did it go? There we go. Then all of a sudden, now I have a cool slide. Hey, I'm going to marketing meeting. Look at me. I'm white. I'm smiling. Hoo hoo. I'm successful. Boom. So you can customize your slides based on what you're doing. Um, and the idea is we want to 
be kind of on point. I don't want to just throw out a hundred different slides and have a 30 minute presentation if I don't need to. So I've kind of made this a concise um, presentation so that it usually will take me maybe 10 minutes to get through. Um, and that's because three minutes of it they're watching a video. But I want to you know, really just hit the, the, the highlights of my marketing strategy. So as we're going through this, we're creating new content, we're creating slides. I'm totally open to help each each of you guys customize, you know, the, this for your market or for your business. Because um, if you never use staging, you've never you don't even know a stager, then obviously you don't want to get have that slide in there. So from there, it's real easy to remove this slide, um, and and go back and whatnot. So what I want to make sure, because I think, let's see. I don't want to get too far ahead because I don't want to overwrite what I've done for myself. So anyways, the idea behind this is you can create it from scratch. We can copy what I've already done. Um, it's fairly simple. You know, you, you, there's a difference between, you know, highlighting the path and then highlighting, you know, the pictures within the path. So essentially have fun with it, create some stuff with this thing. Um, I think it's a great tool for us to use as, as real estate agents, especially for our listings. Um, go ahead and, and if you guys want to start working on it, you can create your account, maybe uh, upload your um, your own um, template that they that they offer for free on here, and we can start kind of building a tool for your listing presentations for marketing strategies. You can also use this for anything. I mean, you could we can create one of these for um, your buyer consultation. So if you want to go do, I don't know if you guys do the, um, who did I always mimic, uh, Ubaldini. Um, uh, what's her first name? Nikki, Nikki Ubaldini. She had a great buyer consultation that I used to mimic when I first started at KW. So I could literally recreate this same presentation solely based on my buyer consultation so that I'm walking the buyer through the steps of the process of buying a home. And when I'm done, I'll have all the questions, what the buyer wants and needs are. I'll have you know um, the information about you know neighborhoods and areas and what's important to them. Um, and at the end of my presentation, they'll say, "Wow, I've never had an agent. Oop, I don't want this. Never had an agent um, go through a pro process like that. Never had them go through a, a freaking you know an actual presentation. Usually, it's just let's sit down and meet. And what do you want? What are you looking for? Well, let's go look at some houses. So now you look super professional. You can bring them into the conference room at your office." You can sit them down and have a pitcher of juice, water, whatever. Make them feel like you're super welcome. And that's what I love about the director of first impressions at the KW offices is that they'll have that set up for you. Now when you go over your buyer presentation, it's not just a bunch of paperwork. You can put them on the big screen in the office and walk them through a presentation similar to this that's all focused on, on the buyer. Um, so let me do this before I really screw up my presentation. Just because I guess it auto, I forgot it automatically saves. So I want to make sure I don't overwrite all the stuff that I worked hard to do. Okay, is that everything? I think that's it. Let's see. Eh, good enough. So let's go ahead and save that. Um, so with that being said, let's um, let me go back. Let's get out of this. Let me go back to this and then start kind of from the beginning on. Say I want to create a new presentation, create a new Prezi. So you go click on create a new Prezi, um, and I'll kind of walk you through some of the, the basics of, of how this thing starts from, from nothing. So you can go through the templates and see what they have on there. Um, you know, you can literally take this one, preview it, and see you know if that's the kind of thing. And here's the thing, what I love best about Prezi is it has almost a theme to it. So this one, the theme was clockwork. So if I want to, you know, have this show like a system of, you know, this goes to here and this goes to there, it'll take me through, you know, with the visual visual cues that kind of ties into what I'm trying to accomplish. So if I want to create systems, maybe this presentation's for, you know, the 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 writing an offer. So here's what you can expect when writing an offer. And every component of writing the offer is a piece of the clock that it's a cog that helps this thing work. So I write an offer, I do this, I have my earnest money deposit, I do my whatever, um, submit the offer, and now we're going to open escrow because offer was accepted. 
deposit earnest. So you can literally help, you can create these presentations to help you along through all the business practices that you will face with a buyer or a seller for that matter. So the idea would be um, you can have a presentation when you meet a buyer. Here's my buyer consultation. Hey, let's go to the presentation. Now we're going to look at homes and write offers. Here's the process moving forward after we've written an offer and had an offer accepted. We have escrow, we have title, we have all these things we have to start doing. Here's the schedule of events and blah, blah, blah. You'll talk to my transaction quarter, so on and so forth. So you can use these as a great tool to help educate your buyer without having to answer all the questions whenever they come up with them. So now instead of handing them off a, a buyer packet, which a lot of us do that, okay, why is this doing that? I do not want this to change. Um, you can you can have these as your tools to help in educate and inform your buyer um, along throughout the process or your seller for that matter. So anyways, I think Prezi is just a really great tool. Um, I definitely am, am open to talk more about it. As you can see with the template ones, here's your, your, you can add text, here's your text bubbles, you know, you can insert, like I said, the different shapes, photos and whatnot. You can draw stuff, um, customize the color, color themes, you know, as you can see, you can change this to, you know, different different color schemes that they have to find something that best fits what you're looking for. Here's one that's an autumn one. Shout out to autumn out there. Um, and anyways, I think we are in fall now, so that's awesome. Um, you could you could totally customize this stuff. So go ahead and, and if you like what you see, join it, add your account, create your account, call me, email me, message me. I can totally walk you through it, you know, but it's it's not too difficult to learn. Um, it's more about just trying to get creative because that's the hard part I found is coming up with different themes and, and different strategies to make it look fun and effective. So like here's one of my, oh, I don't want to do that. Here's one of my social media campaigns. Oh wait, is this, no, wait, was this it? I think this is my social media class that I teach. Um, yeah. So when I was coming up with, a, I was asked to teach kind of like, it's called masters, but it's like for new agents coming into the business. So I was asked to teach a course on social media. So I kind of came up with this whole universe of social media. And here's all the different things that we, you know, talk about within social media. And so I created this, it looks like I'm in the universe, you know, all these millions of stars. And then I talk about all the different social media icons uh, available out there, but I only focus on um, these main ones. Facebook, YouTube, Inst um, was that Inst no, that wasn't Instagram, was it? LinkedIn, maybe? I think that's it, LinkedIn, I can't remember. Um, and then I, then I talk about all the different, what the benefit of having these are. So great, you have a Facebook, a LinkedIn, a Twitter, YouTube, but your website, your agent site is what your main objective is. You wanna bring these people from these different social media uh, um, outlets into your website. So this was, for me, I mean, I, again, I love using Prezi. It's a great product. I can go ahead and I can teach all the different aspects of what Facebook is, how you use it. But as you can see, it's so visually stimulating, in my opinion. You know, I can teach about this. Now I wanna talk about LinkedIn. Here's your landing page, here's your this. So I kind of walk people through, you know, all these different, different, um, um, ways of, of using social media to your advantage. This is a real basic thing. I think this is more like walking people through what each um, outlet looks like. Because a lot of people that I, I meet with real estate, they don't know, they don't even use social media. So um, so anyways, this was another presentation I used. And it was, in my opinion, kind of creative, kind of fun. So that being said, Prezi, guys, that's one of, the, the, one of my secret tools that I use for my listing presentations. I really like the creativeness of it. And I think that if, all of us created our own and had it implemented within our own listing presentations. It would be a, a powerful tool for us all. Um, let me know what you think. I'm going to have this, hopefully this video should be uploaded by the end of the day and I'm going to share it with the group shortly. So let me know if you have any questions. Just give me a call. I'm always around. Hit me up on Facebook. Enjoy you guys and call me for, if you have any questions. Take care.